Climate justice cannot be separated from disability justice. Here's why. The world is often unforgiving and ableist, even without climate breakdown. We as disabled people feel it particularly hard when countless extra layers of oppression are landing on us, from being forgotten in superstorms to considered dispensable in a pandemic, or both at once. The root causes of our oppression and those of climate breakdown are similar. Most disabled people live in the global south, are indigenous or people of color, and live in poverty. Everyone fighting to uproot unequal systems and centre care instead can learn a lot from disability justice. For starters, an integrated approach which moves beyond single-issue silos. Sins and Valid created 10 principles of disability justice to guide an approach that is led by those most impacted, anti-capitalist and centred in cross-movement, solidarity and sustainability. Marginalised communities coming together can birth pockets of a world where they fully belong. The lived reality of disabled queer and trans, black, indigenous and people of colour in the US gave rise to the first disability justice frameworks. There has to be space for us in grassroots activism and in international negotiations. Let's continue to make our voices heard and work together to create the world we want to live in. To read more, see Where Disability and Climate Meet, article on the Disability Debrief newsletter by Anya Kelly-Costello.